Welcome to the AQT8 series video two. For our application, we will only set up the IP section of the Blonder Tongue AQT8 Quam IP. If you have the AQT8 Quam IP unit and have already performed the Quam setup, you can skip to step six. Please note, we will refer to the AQT8 Quam IP as the AQT8. This short video is intended to aid you in configuring the AQT8. Some assumptions are made that may not be exactly like your particular situation. Before we get started, be certain you have everything you need to set up. In the package we provided, you'll find one AQT8 Quam IP, one power cord, and one Ethernet crossover cable. Please remember the difference between the crossover and a regular Ethernet cable. Now in addition, you should also have your own an 8-way splitter along with coax cables. This assumes that all input channels are in one input cable, in our case from a single broadband antenna. If you have separate inputs or a combination of two, simply use the appropriate splitter to connect to the AQT8. And finally, two computers laptop or desktop with Ethernet ports, one with VLC media player. Now that we have everything, let's get started. Step 1. Connect the inputs. Connect up to 8 terrestrial and or clear QAM inputs via the 8-way splitter to the 8 VSB QAM inputs. Then connect the crossover cable between the AQT8 10 100 control port and the computer via the RJ45 port. This computer will be the control computer used to configure the AQT8. Use second Ethernet crossover cable to connect computer number 2 with the installed media player, VLC player or equivalent, to the data output port on the unit. Connect the power cord. Step 2. Log in. Assign 172.16.70.2 as the static IP for the control computer. If you do not know how to set up a static IP, you can Google this to find the solution within seconds. Open up the web browser. Type in 172.16.70.1 into your browser address bar to access the AQTA. Press Enter. Step 3. Selecting Inputs. Go to the Input Map tab, select Edit at the top of the input table. Change the Input Selection pull-down to All. Select Modulation Mode. In our application, we're using 8VSB mode. And click Save. Select Desired Channel Input Frequencies. Repeat Modulation Mode and Input Settings for all inputs. Click Save. Step 4. Verify inputs are locked. Verify the front panel input status LEDs are on. They should be green. If not, check to make sure you have selected the correct channel in Step 3 and that it is currently on. Please allow approximately 10 seconds after saving for the LEDs to react. Be sure you have entered the physical channel numbers of the input and not the virtual channel numbers. Broadcasters include the virtual information in their digital transmissions in order to maintain their original analog channel identities. The virtual channel is what the TV will display and in most cases will not be the same as the RF channel it is broadcasted on. Click Input Map and hit Refresh tab to verify the input channel data. Step 5. Check SNR. Go to the status page. For reliable AQT8 operation, the minimal value for 8 VSB should be greater than 22. If the signal is yellow, try to improve signal quality. Increase the RF input level as required to achieve desired SNR. Now we have successfully configured the inputs. Step 6. Configure the output. Go to the output page. Select the number of IP outputs. Click Save. Step 7. 
configure IP output. Go to the IP output config page. Config the IP address port for each output stream. Coordinate with the IT system administrator for the required IP addresses. Select the encapsulation, RDP or UDP, based on the receiving unit's capabilities. Enable the IP output. Step 8. Select IP output. Go to the input map. Click the edit button on the top of the green input table. Put check marks next to the desired program in the green input table by clicking the appropriate boxes. Select the IP outputs in the blue table then click add. Repeat for each output program. The unit supports one video and three audios for each program. Video starts streaming once added to the IP output table. Step 9. Confirm streaming programs. Open the media player, VLC or equivalent. Enter the IP address assigned in step 8 and confirm the programs are being streamed. Now you are all set up. Thank you for watching.